Well, sorry everyone, I tried to record and OBS had an error, so you missed the reading of the text here, but it says, The person who actually arranged this incident was the victim, Nagito Komaeda. Okay, let's continue. He kept a specific item inside his cottage that he needed for his plan. Monokuma's special poison, which he brought with him from the Octagon. Using the gloves and gas mask that he got from the military base, P-Eel, I like the P-Eel sound effect in the upper left-hand corner. When he did that, a specific item was left as evidence, the blue aluminum seal on the grenade. With that, Nagito finished making the poisoned fire grenade, took it with him to the factory, and drank it. And put it back with the rest of the grenades in the break room. The next morning, Nagito appeared before us and declared that he hit a bomb somewhere. While we were looking for the bomb, that's when Nagito headed over to the goods warehouse. In order to set up a fire, Nagito arranged the Monokuma panels in a line going from the door to the curtain and placed an oil lighter in front of it. From there, Nagito set his insane plan in motion. Alright. First, he hung the spear that he took from Nozumi Castle from the ceiling girder by its core. Then he tied his arms and legs at the back of the warehouse with rope. However, he burnt off the rope on his right arm beforehand. In doing so, he made sure that only his right hand was free, while his remaining arm and legs were tied up. Then he positioned the cactus right under his anus. As he gripped the tip of the rope hanging over the ceiling girder with his left hand, he lay down face up, just beneath the dangling spear. But this was just the beginning of Nagato's plan. And then, he did something no one could have predicted. Oh my First, god. He covered his mouth with duct tape, and after making sure he was unable to scream. <laughs> he stabbed himself with the knife multiple times in his left arm and in both of his thighs. That's just so insane. Finally. He propped the knife on the plushie and slammed his right hand onto the blade. He didn't just want us to think he was tied up, he also wanted us to think he'd been tortured. Through all this, Nagito never let go of the spear. His plan still wasn't over. In fact, it was just about to begin. Meanwhile, we finally arrived at the plushie factory and found Nagito's message. After seeing his message, we instantly made our way to the warehouse. Instantly! But that was part of Nagito's plan. We opened the door to the warehouse, which inadvertently started the Monokuma panel domino effect. <clears throat> the panels Oof. fell one after another until they reached the lighter, tipped it over, and ignited the curtain. Shocked by the sudden fire, we rushed to the factory's break room to obtain some fire extinguishing grenades. We then aimed for the fire's origin point which was the curtain, and unloaded the entire supply. It never occurred to us that one of those grenades was the poison grenade that Nagito had prepared. Oh. The poison sank to the floor, instantly vaporizing due to the intense heat, and spread everywhere. The poison gas quickly drifted to the curtain at the back of the warehouse, where Nagito was. Also, Monokuma's poison has a unique quality in which it becomes heavier than air when vaporized. That poison gas completely surrounded the area where Nagito lay face up on the floor. There, Nagito inhaled the poison, and if it didn't instantly kill him, he certainly lost consciousness. Which caused him to let go of the rope in his left hand, and the falling spear plunged into his stomach. So he was double dead. This is all the information related to Nagito's plan. 
His true intention was to set one of us up as the killer. At this time, we still don't know who the killer is, because the killer wasn't aware they killed someone. Try as we might, we cannot reach that truth. That was Nagito's trap. In conclusion, the fact that we can't determine the killer's identity. <laughs> this should be the truth behind Nagito's trap. How about it, Chiaki? Will that help you figure out who the killer is? No, but thanks for wasting 15 minutes. Uh, um, Chiaki? Just as I thought. It's impossible, isn't it? Are you saying we just have to vote for someone? What Hajime said is probably true. That's part of the reason why I thought it was a little strange. Did Nagito really not care who the killer was? Hmm. He said this to us earlier. It's going to be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all, there's no way hope can lose. Absolute hope can break through any despair. I can never lose in a place like this. Not only that, I believe in you all. I believe in the time we spent together. That feeling of belief is at the heart of his trick. He believed we'd notice the fire grenades. He believed we'd try to extinguish the flames. And he believed we'd fall into his trap. By believing in us, <clears throat> Nagito was able to put his life-threatening plan into effect. What do you mean, believe? And what's wrong with that? There's one more thing, remember? Something that Nagito believed in from the bottom of his heart. Oh boy. I want you to try to remember what that is. Leprechauns. The Easter Bunny. His talent or despair, it's one or the other. I see! Ha ha! Nagito believed in his talent as the ultimate lucky student. After all the time we spent together, I believe in you guys. And more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. It's definitely going to be alright. I guess the last thing he could believe in was his own talent. That's not so strange, really. Most of us here have been relying on the same thing. But, in his case, it was pretty remarkable, wasn't it? It almost seemed like he had blind faith in it. <laughs> You're right. The same thing happened when he cleared the final dead room at the funhouse. Right, yeah, he did the crazy Russian roulette. <clears throat> it wasn't life threatening at all, it was just a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. It's a game where you load one bullet and a gun spin the cylinder pointed toward you and pull the trigger, so you really did it. <laughs> yeah, he used five bullets. Okay. Alright, enough. We saw this fucking text already. He did, the, he did the same thing when the first killing happened at the old building near the hotel. He d depended on his luck and was able to get cleaning duty just as he wanted. Right. At the very beginning. <clears throat> Yeah, at the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky. It was actually the opposite. I was lucky, that's why I got picked for cleaning duty just like I wanted. Aha. Uh -huh. But his luck doesn't have anything to do with the case this time, right? I just thought... It was strange that it doesn't connect to anything. He factored in his belief in us. But for some reason, he didn't factor in his own luck. No. There's no way. I mean... This is Nagito we're talking about. Wh what did he do? No, he wasn't just after anybody. He probably had a target. A target he was aiming for all along. Hmm. A person to set up as the killer. A target? Who? The target's true identity. Even Nagito didn't know it. That's why he relied on being the ultimate lucky student. And incorporated that luck into his plan. As long as he had his luck, he believed the target he was after would pick up the fire grenade. Ah! You mean he left his plan to luck? He risked his life for that? He probably risked his life just so his ultimate luck could decide this. Who is it? Who's the target Nagito was after? 
I don't even have to ask. I should already know what the answer is. The traitor. I see. Right. That's it? The traitor. Nagito was after the traitor, huh? Okay. 